Here's a screencast on plate tectonics. I just wanted to give you a, a, a quick background on how the earth is changing, how our landforms are changing based on uh, what we've been seeing so far. Here's a, an overview of the different lithospheric plates that surround our earth. The earth is kind of like a, a hard-boiled egg that's been cracked and it's got all the cracks running around seven plates in total. You can see some of them are converging together. Here's the North American plate and the Pacific plate converging along the west coast. Here's the South American plate and the African plate diverging. They're moving apart from one another. And they interact in lots of different ways. They converge, they diverge. Um, and we're just going to go through those different interactions, starting number one with convergence. With, with respect to convergence, there are a few different scenarios. The first one, you could have a, an oceanic crust. There's the bell. Oceanic crust, and we have continental crust. Well, how do they interact? Well, they could come together, they can converge, and oceanic crust can subduct under continental crust. Remember, remember our convection currents. So here we have a convection current that's moving clockwise. So it's pushing this plate directly to the right. We have a continental plate over here. This isn't showing the convection current, but it's going to be moving counterclockwise. So our continental crust is going to be moving to the left. And this is the heavier one, so it's going to subduct underneath. And as it subducts, it's taking the water with it. Is taking ocean water down, and as as we know, things as they approach the core of the Earth, they heat up. So this water is going to heat up. It's going to turn into steam. Steam rises. It pushes this land upward. It creates volcanoes. Let's look. I couldn't really pick. I found a, a whole bunch of good pictures, so just kind of went with all of them. Um, once again, subduction. You're going to see water, steam rising, and there's a trench that's going to form at the margin of these two plates. Same thing here. Another representation. Trench, subduction, steam rising, volcano. All right, so that's converging plates scenario number one. Number two, we've got oceanic crust, subduction under oceanic crust. So let's say we have two um, oceanic plates coming together. One, whichever one's heavier, is going to subduct under the other. Same scenario. It takes water with it. Water gets superheated. Steam rises, brings magma with it. We get a volcanic island or a chain of islands and also a trench along the margin of those two plates. How about scenario number three? Continental crust converging with continental crust. You can see here's one coming from this direction. Here's one coming from the other. And as they do so, they fold upward. They, they form a folded mountain ring, similar to the Rockies, the Appalachians, the Alps, Himalayas. Those are all folded mountain ranges when two continental crusts come together. So going across the top, we have convergence. Let's move in. Let's talk about divergence. Converging is coming together, diverging, moving apart. So. Picture convection currents down here. Okay, this convection current is going counterclockwise. So as it's rubbing under this lithospheric plate, it's pushing it left. This convection current is going clockwise, pushing this plate to the right. And as it does this, you can see this magma starting to move up and thinning this out, thins this part of the land out, causing it to drop and simultaneously these lithospheric plates are moving. So a rift valley forms in the middle. We get a rift valley in the middle and as that rift valley drops magma fills it in. Magma comes up and fills it in and creates new land. This is all new land. We have our old plates spreading apart. Uh, lots of times the rift valleys get full, filled with water. But this is new land being formed by this new magma. So we're going to get a rift valley um, we can get a mid-ocean ridge if this is happening in the in the ocean, as you can see here. 
mid-ocean ridge going down, plates diverging, magma coming up and forming new land. Same thing here, just found another good representation. Here's our convection currents, here's our pushing our plates outward, here's the new land being formed. Divergence, convergence, divergence, and the third kind, we have a transform fault boundary. This is pretty simple. One is, they're kind of sliding along one another. Pretty self-explanatory with this transform fault. Now, we have plate tectonics. There are a lot of uh, ramifications to this, some of which are volcanoes. So, let's look at this picture. I thought it was pretty good. It kind of goes over a lot of what we're talking about. Here's convergence. We have our oceanic plate subducting underneath. We have steam rising up. This type of volcano shown here and here is a stratovolcano caused by subduction. Stratovolcano. Like Mount St. Helens on the, on the west coast. Another type of volcano, and we talked about this in class and talked about it in the movie, are caused by hot spots. You can see that there are plumes coming up from the mantle where this hot magma rises up and it it occurs, it breaks through the lithospheric plate and the magma starts to deposit islands like Hawaii, like the Easter Islands. Um, they're formed by hot spots. They are volcanic islands and they're specifically shield volcanoes. So Hawaii is a shield volcano. We have stratovolcanoes, we have shield volcanoes. And that's our overview of plate tectonics.